many people ask me that you know what is the flow of my editing how i process my image so today i will show you that how actually i start processing my images and this is the final complete image after the editing so i will show you that how i do it so this is the before photo that how it is taken so i will open this in camera raw it's a raw image so it contain all the light shadow and the other color information so you can easily handle those in post processing so i have opened this in camera raw you can see that it's taken using canon eos 60 with 24105 lens so it see the temperature was around warm 5000 5000 is for the starting point for the warm okay so i will first do that i will i will reduce the highlight and take out my shadow not completely i see otherwise it will wash off then i will take out a uh, white take down a black little bit and then i will increase vibrance so so far as you can see that this is the result you can see that we have found a detail in the sky and boat shadow see uh, let me just quickly straight the horizon this is one of the most important part if you have not taken your horizon straight you can you should always you know make it as a habit to yeah so then i will take this graduate filter and upside down and then i will reduce the exposure give a little clarity will make it towards blue it's your wish till what extend you want to go also it depends on the image what you are using you will do the same thing from bottom but not that much i will reduce the exposure i will reduce the clarity to give a little silky feel to the water you see that in sky i try to increase the clarity to give the texture of the sky but in water i want to reduce it so it will give a little silky look to the water so so far we started from here and we shifted till here so you can see that it's already so much progress now i would like to use brush tool yeah i would like to use brush tool and give a detail in the sky bottom part of the sky where you can see that there are red tint are there but it's not clearly visible so what i will do i will change my temperature okay and probably i will increase my shadow you can change any time because it's a brush so if you don't like you can always have 
choice to go back because it's a raw file so you see that I am not changing anything as such I am just giving a temperature in the bottom part so the sunset feel will be there I have not increased uh, exposure or anything I have just given the temperature and little saturation you can so far we have not moved to Photoshop all I am doing is in camera raw okay then I will take a new brush I will set it back to the zero everything I will increase the exposure little bit I will add it to the boat and I will bring out the detail from the boat yeah you can increase or decrease as you want yeah so this is so far we started point and ending point then after this I will go to the sharpening I will give a sharpening around 70 this is very important and I will reduce a noise because it's in the evening time so definitely there will be a noise in image so what I will do I will do a masking I will hold alt key on windows and start dragging this point so whatever is the black it will smooth out those and whatever is the white it will give the sharpen so I am masking out the black part will be the smooth white part will be the sharpened one so I will it's basically depend on image and your taste that how much you want so I will go around 78 78 80 is usually good that's what I prefer but it's depend person to person and image to image then will play a little bit it's not necessary I, I will just I'm just checking Yeah. just giving the evening mood so you can crease little bit and yeah this is one of the important part actually you always should enable this lens profile correction so it will remove any distortion or vignetting in your image and then there is another called remove chromatic abbreviation so what happen actually during sunrise or sunset there will be a chromatic abbreviation around your edges You can remove it using checking this then I will do a post crop vignetting to give you know eyes should you know go to the center that's it from camera raw you can try this color profile I don't like this I will 
keep that up standard so yeah this is what you know we have achieved using camera raw itself no photoshop done so far so we have imported the image in photoshop so we'll finalize this image in photoshop now so i will select uh, ellipse and we'll give feather 300 pixel nice smooth feather and i will select a portion where which i need to highlight more and i want my user to see there first and then the other area so i will go to layer adjustment curves so increase my highlight here and decrease a shadow so this is a layer adjustment so i can always check you know what i have done you can save it also as a photoshop file so in later if you want to edit you can just play with this curves i will make a copy with control j in windows we'll go to the blur go to the tilt shift adjust the tilt shift something like this and can change the blur amount from here and say okay so it will give a nice blur to the sky and the water but we don't want sky needs to be blur i just want to give depth to the bottom of the part so what i will do that i will mask this using this icon and we'll use the gradient black and white gradient see it's linear so black to white so black means height and white means visible so what i will do that i will start from here and leave it here so your final image is almost ready so i will merge all these three layer flat image we'll again go to the curves increase the white a little bit give a little contrast go to the vibrance increase the vibrance And this is our final image after editing. Thanks for watching our channel. Please subscribe for more updates. Thank you.